What's up guys, welcome to the vlog Becoming an Ultra Runner. My name's Cameron and this is episode 55. Quickly wanted to touch on foot health um, at the start of this video. I wanted some advice off you guys mainly because um, in the summer when I ran the South Wales 50, I had some awful problems with my feet. I had a blister on my left foot, which was probably about this size, which is, it took up about a third of the foot and it was extremely painful. This happened about halfway through the race um, and my feet haven't been quite the same after. I mean, before the race, I had the odd blister now and again, but not loads. And since then, I feel like I'm more prone to blisters. Do you guys do anything to maintain good foot health? I'm thinking completely out the box here. Do you soak your feet? Do you do anything to harden them? Do you put any cream or moisturizer on them? Do you um, wear particularly padded socks? Do you wear blister plasters? Do you tape up your feet? Uh, is there a special kind of socks that you guys wear to avoid blisters and cushion your feet? All these things I'd like to know about. So if you do any of those things, or if you don't do anything at all, can you let me know below? So I guess the main news for me in the last couple of weeks is that I've completely cut meat out of my diet, um, at least for the time being. I'm kind of running a bit of a test to see if I enjoy it and if it makes any difference to my running or my performance or my recovery between runs. At this point, I think it's a bit too early to tell. All I know is that I'm really enjoying not eating meat. Um, I'm not gonna be able to go full vegan, to be honest. I'm not sure it's something that I actually want. So cutting out meat was pretty easy for me. For a long time now, I haven't been eating any meat for breakfast or for lunch. And then I only ever had meat with my main meal in the evening. Kind of recently, I've been noticing that meals have just been getting really boring. I didn't really know what to do with the meat. You know, how many different ways can you season chicken to make it taste good? Most of my life, I've never been a massive fan of meat. The majority of the time, I don't eat things like steak or beef. I don't eat lamb or pork. I've just never really been into those meats. The only thing I, I do like is a little bit of chicken and I like a burger. I mean, I, and I absolutely love the taste of those things, but right now, I'm not really missing them. Right guys, so a quick update on the shoes. So last week I used some super glue to glue along the inside edge. This side was fine, feels pretty strong, putting a massive amount of force on there now, and that's fine. This was the one I was worried about. The cut in it was probably a good four inches. So I bought some extra super glue in the week and I glued along the edge. And this is the first time I'm actually seeing if it's, um, if it's gonna hold. So you can see there I'm pushing and pulling with some significant force. Ah, they're looking pretty strong. To be honest, I had a really bad feeling this wasn't gonna work. With any luck, I might have actually saved these. So quickly on to training. The last week has been another good week. Um, ticked off another 30K, um, over four runs. 
This week hasn't been as perfect as the other weeks. I had to kind of mix up the sessions a little bit because I did some work in the evening. On Thursday night, it meant I missed my normal Thursday night run. So I just took that 5K and combined it with the 5K I normally do on Friday. and just did a 10K there. On Sunday, we went out trail running around a local reservoir. Um, we were planning on doing two loops, which was 15K or something along those lines, maybe a bit more. We had to cut it short because the terrain was so boggy and slippery that we couldn't really run on it. And part of the trail was closed because of this. So we did one loop. We felt like we were running out of time. So we came home at about 10K. Then I went out again in the evening and did an extra 5K just to top up my miles. My second question of the video for you guys is about speed work. Um, I haven't really been doing any speed work recently. The last six weeks have mostly been running at a relatively easy pace, just getting the miles in and enjoying it, getting down the gym and building up some strength in my legs and then my core. Six weeks in and I'm feeling good. I've got another six weeks left until the training block for the ultra starts. Um, when the ultra training starts, I'll be up in my mileage. So I don't really want to be introducing speed work at the same time I'm up in my mileage. Um, you know, much bigger risk of injury and slower recovery and all those things. So now feels like the perfect time to do it. I'm not really thinking anything crazy here, just one session a week, uh, maybe five 1K intervals or some tempo work or something along those lines. Do you guys think it's a good idea to bring speed work in at this point? Is it sensible to do it now? No, I'm feeling quite good. Um, and can you guys recommend a good speed session? What's your favorite speed session? Do you like intervals? Do you like reps? Do you like tempo runs, hills? Let me know in the comments below.